Hello everyone. Uh, I'm glad to be back in the Swapped Up Sundays just to see how these cars will do with different engines. But today, we're going to look at my car actually. The Subaru, yep, I own the Subaru BRZ. But, and also the Toyota GTA 6 Sion FRS. The Sion is not on GT7, so they're just going with Toyota, so. We'll just do the first gen of, of that, of that car, so. Here we go. We are going to start off with this, this BRZ that is it has like the Suzuki V, the, the Suzuki Hayabusa V8 motor. Oh, that would have been, come to think about it, that's pretty much what I would want. But it is, but you're gonna have to have some money just to swap that engine into a BRZ. So, uh, I don't know what to think at the moment, but still, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I still, yeah, if I was one to do, do an engine swap and I have money, that was something I would do. That would ask absolutely for sure. I'll tell you why I would do that. As for this car, this one had a car, Saki V8, instead of Suzuki. Man, I was, oh yeah, it really... Yeah, that car really did great, but they were like, but they're like selling that car for sure. I don't know how much it was, but it's definitely. But I'm pretty sure it's expensive for sure. Probably like over a hundred grand. Oh yeah, that's all I can say. And it's but the same would be what would like the Suzuki Hayabusa motor, like used in other race cars, like the Radical SR8 or something like that. But um, well. I'll, I'll probably just have to show you later on about that, but, but yeah, this is, but yeah, this car is really expensive for sure. That's all I can say. And actually, this is the, this is the engine that came out of this car. Yeah, it's the Suzuki, uh, Vision Gran Turismo, so, it looks like it's pretty cool. I doubt we get, get one in the States, but, but I think that's like just this only race that's just about it all I can say but I'm going to show you the settings uh, just, uh, let me show you the settings and here we are I added 50, uh, 26 uh, kilograms as you just saw of how much I weigh in, uh, in pounds but yeah this is really it's just got a hard, high RPM turbocharger and really nothing Nothing much after that, but yeah, this is much, this is like, yeah, it's really, it's much lighter than, than what I have right now, so that's all I can say at the moment, and I just suggested everything on the, on the car, that's for sure, but all I can say is, that's the only hundred for like, small motor. And back to Will Springs we go. Yep, this is really, yep. All I can say is this motor sounds really different. And sounds really good to me though. Oh yeah, you have, but the thing about it is, it doesn't really have torque, you have to have it at a high RPM. That's the thing. And oh yeah, we are keeping it at a high RPM. But, but yeah. I was pretty much just thinking about swapping like the Hayabusa V8 motor into my car. Yeah, this, but yeah, I already told you that it was expensive, but oh yeah, but the thing about it is it would just be, it's just like really lightweight and everything and you have to stay on the top end, that's for sure. That's for sure. And yeah, this is not really, yeah, this, oh, but I'm doing some wheels. To do some wheel spinning, that's for sure. And here we let's see what this does. Oh, and I'm into some dirt and oh, but this this isn't right bad at all. Since it's much since that 
engine is lighter than it's pretty much really lightweight oh yeah yeah you can even keep the stock transmission if you wanted to probably wouldn't need probably wouldn't need just a new high performance clutch and a shifter if you want but oh I messed up there yes yeah, yeah I guess I'm gonna have to start over on this but oh well so be it anyways yeah, this is going to be the slowest lap. Um, I forget which one is uh, the fastest lap, but... Yeah, I just had to... How did we learn this car? How did we learn on it since it's just been a while? All right, but... Other than that, it looks like... It's doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, take it. It's just digging in the dirt, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, and... Here we are coming around this, around this turn, and, and here we go down. Oh yeah, this time it's taking it. Oh, it's not doing so bad at all. And yep, this is. Oh boy. Come to think about it. Oh yeah, this is really. Let's see if I, if I do this turn right. Yep, I corrected myself on that one. And here we are. Coming through this turn. This is. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Contra. I didn't think I would drift, but you can drift over in a high RPM car, that's for sure. But I do have traction control on at four. So, besides, let's take a little bit of traction control off. But, oh yeah, this is really. I don't know. I don't know which one's my fastest lap. I know the last one wasn't, but, oh yeah, this is doing really good. This is what it is, dude. Really, really good. Oh, man. man. Around the turn we go. And here we are. Just. Yeah, other than that, it's doing pretty well. That's all I can say with that motor. But, yeah, here we go around this corner. I mean, around the turn or whatever. Yeah, it's... Oh, man, it's like... Whoever... I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what to think at the moment, but... I already to say this time. And here we are. Really, the fastest turn. Fastest turn here, and then we are just going around this horseshoe. At the top. And we are coming down. Oh, looks like it's doing. Looks like it's doing pretty well. It's going really fast. Digging in the dirt again. And here we are. Here we are again, just going through it. And I guess it's just. Up next is another VRZ, except this time it has the not the not the GMLS, but the GMLT, which was in the last generation of the uh, Corvette. And this one is supercharged, that's for sure. Uh, you'll you'll see how much power it has in a minute after this after this. Introduction. Oh yeah, it's really trying to be mysterious on this. That's all. That's all it's doing for now. So, yep. Yeah, here we go. I'm about to show you in just a bit. And actually, this engine came out of this car, which is 
wish is not just in the game, it is in real life for sure. Yeah, and that car, yeah, that's a supercharged motor, that's for sure. Yeah, they call it like the LT5, but let's see how much it puts out. That's all I can say. Well, as you can see, it's got a lot, over 1,100 horses. Weighs just a little more than my car. And I put like 200 kilograms on my, on this. And it is really, that's something right there. But it's got balancing, polished pour, titanium, titanium connecting rods, and uh, something else. I forgot what it was, but, but yes, this is a really... This is, this car, it's for real, and you had to put a lot of stuff, and I adjusted the brake sensitivity up to one. As you can see, I know the picture's crooked, but the thing about it is, I did test drive the Toyota E6 with the same engine, same settings on everything, and the Subaru BRZ just beat that. Beat that like by five seconds. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know if it's like something in my settings. But yeah, the Subaru beat the Toyota 86 with the same motor. I don't get it. I'm not I'm not against the Toy I'm not against the Toyota at all, but I just I just don't understand what happened. I might have to look into that later on. And here we go. I just tried this car twice because I had to get, I really had to get used to this car. I did it like the second time and I did it better. That's all I can say. But yeah, this is, but yeah, this is it. And here we go on the track. I'm, I feel sorry for that, for that Toyota being beat by this car. I really feel sorry for that car though. I don't know what happened. I might have made a mistake or something, but yeah. Here we go with this uh this uh this supercharged V8. Let's see how well it handles. Oh yeah, this is yeah, it is really Yeah, you have to really be more careful with this car than the uh than that Suzuki because of lots of torque and I do feel like it has way, way too much torque. As you can see, it is really. Oh yeah, this is pretty, pretty sick. Oh yeah, but this is, yeah, it's taking, it's taking these turns pretty well. That's for sure. And, yep, here we are. It's just about to get into this first. I'll do this first lap and. Didn't do too bad. I guess this is where this car would just be. It's probably just much faster on a, on straights, that's for sure. Oh, hey, you're going to have to look. And basically, you're going to have to get used to torque on that one. That's what. That's why I just drove this like the second time. The first time, it was really that bad, but... Second time. This is this is something. Oh, it, it's a drift. You can definitely drift this car. That's for sure. And I'm pretty sure you have to really rent the other car, but and you can rent at any RPM that you want. But oh yeah, it's handling. Yep, I got used to handling these turns pretty well with it. It is really, really something right there. But, yeah, the thing about it is, it'd be cheaper just to swap a, like a GMLS or LT than the, um, than the Suzuki, because those engines are more rare. And these, these are not so rare at all. So you can probably get a, Oh yeah, you can just get them from like other places too. Even like uh, Chevrolet Performance or something like that. Oh yeah, and and K Tech, which is really high, highly rated. But 
yeah, this is really, this is really something. And here we go around this for, oh, it's just a little bit of draft. And, oh, yeah, this, this is a challenge to try. If you're, like, trying to drive some, this is a definite challenge. And the dirt and wet. And, and it, it's taking this curve pretty well. No big deal on that one. A little bit of dirt, but, eh. I guess it's really just trying to fight dirty, so since it's a really a heavier car and you would like put it on 440 pounds, oh, it is really heavy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh, Suzuki was made like 2300 or something. It's like I couldn't see it through my iPhone. And, and I am doing, and I am trying to do like a mirror. I'm trying to to mirror into a TV, but I still couldn't see it at the time. Now I was making this video, and sorry about that, but I guess once it gets on YouTube, I'll, I'll definitely see it, but yeah, this is, yeah, see, like, this car is doing great. It's doing really good. Oh, even with drifting. That's just... Yeah, that's just a thing. It just drifts a lot. And... Yeah, this is... This is just something here. But... Well... Let's see how this does. I don't know if this is the final lap or not, but... I'm probably guessing it is. I think I did like about four left laps with these cars. And yeah, this is not. I will say that was a really close race. A very close race for sure. But the light, but but the light 800 pound uh, BRC actually won this battle, but it was very close. Next to a very heavy supercharged, supercharged uh, LTV8 that was put out like 1100 horses. Oh yeah, if it was like like longer straightaways, then yeah, the yeah the. LT, the GMLT 5 would have won, but on a, like a short course like this, this is, yeah, definitely the, uh, definitely the, the high boost of V8 wins this. It just depends on track, that's for sure, but it was a very close battle. But I wouldn't mind just putting like the, putting my, the, the GM, uh, BRZ, I guess like the other muscle cars. I just want to see how that does. Oh yeah, by the way, GM used to be all bought. But I mean, GM used to own Subaru. That's all I can say. But yeah, this is. But yeah, that's a battle for sure. That definitely was, and they overtake everything else. Well, I hope you liked this video. Please share, subscribe, comment, uh, share the video. Uh, hope to see you next time. And I hope I can do more, more swapped up Sundays or swapped up weekends. But yeah, I, I'm sick. But so far, I only got like nearly 200k on my car, 200k on my BRC. Oh yeah, it's really. It's doing pretty well, but if like the engine blows, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to swap the motor for something. But yeah, but until then, y'all take care.